Hey you guys, so today I am here for the classic book tag and I'm pretty sure I was tagged in this by Vienna from at like it's a book world or something. I'll link her Twitter down below because I have her there. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel. But thank you so much for tagging me. I'm really excited to do this so let's just get started. Number one is an overhyped classic that you really didn't enjoy and this was so easy for me because I hated this book and I know a lot of people loved it and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me but I hated it. That is Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I thought that the main character was ridiculous. I thought the plot was ridiculous. I hated the main character. I just didn't like her. I didn't like any of the other characters. All the guys that she was with were, I, they were just worse than her. Like, they were horrible people, most of them. Didn't find it realistic. I didn't find it good. I just did not like it. I didn't. And I feel bad saying that because I know so many people love this book, but I really didn't like it. The second question is, what time period do you enjoy reading usually? And I would say, classic wise, and I would say Victorian, the Victorian era. I really like reading those. Number three is favorite fairy tale, and I would say definitely Beauty and the Beast. I mean, books. She loves to read. She has brown hair. I used to have brown hair, but I have purple hair now, but I still associate with her because she had brown hair. And I have brown hair, naturally. The next is, what is the most embarrassing classic that you haven't read? And I have so many that I need to read, and I have a stack over here, and I can honestly talk about all of them. I'm just gonna hold them up to you. I also have Jade Eyre, but I didn't bring that one because, like, you know what, I already have enough here. I don't need to make myself feel even more bad. So I haven't read Little Women. I haven't read To Kill a Mockingbird. I haven't read Catcher in the Rye. I haven't read Emma by Jane Austen. I'm reading it right now. I haven't read For Fahrenheit 451. I haven't read a lot of things. And it's very upsetting. And the next question is top five classes you would like to read soon. So definitely those. And then I picked more classics I'm embarrassed not to have read that I need to read soon. This one is, I think, loosely considered a classic, but I'm counting it because I think it's, I don't know, is it a modern classic? I think it's considered a classic. And that is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. And then The Plague by Albert Camus. Uh, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery and 1984 by George Orwell, and then lastly, Le Miserable by Victor Hugo, and I got this beautiful edition from my friend Luisina at My Reading Glasses, so definitely check out her channel below. She's one of my closest booktube friends, and I love her so much, and I just need to read all the classics. I need to read them all because there's so many I haven't read, and you know, you read a ton, you're like, yeah, I've been reading so many classics, and then all of a sudden you look, you're like, there's 50 bajillion more to read. Oh my goodness. The next question is, favorite modern book series based on a classic? I don't know. The only other one that I can think of right now is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, but I don't know, does that count? And also, I don't know if it's my favorite because maybe I have read one that I like more, but I just don't, I don't know it's, a, it's based on a classic, so I don't really know. I'm gonna go with that one. I do love that series, but I, I'm just gonna go with that one right now because that's all I can think of. Next question is favorite movie version or TV series based on classic and hands down Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth and that actress. I love her in it. I can't believe I don't remember her name. Oh my goodness. The girl who plays Elizabeth Bennet. Man, I'm so, I'm so disappointed in myself. I love her. She's so good. I do like the Kira Knightley version, but I prefer the, the other one. I think it's better. It's so good. It's so good. It's such a good adaptation. And I just, I can't, I can't stop watching it. Also, the Lizzie Bennett Diaries are a pretty great modern adaptation of it. I really like that too. Worst classic to movie adaptation. The movie version I saw of this was not good. And I think I might have seen one that was not recommended to me, but I think it was like the one that I found and it was not good and I need to find a different one to watch. And that was the one of The Count of Monte Cristo. It was bad. The one I saw, it was not good. So I think I either need to find like a TV series version because I think that the reason I didn't like it was because so many details were left out and so many plot points were changed. It really bothered me. So I think I need to find either a TV series version one or like a really good movie version. So if you guys can recommend a movie version to me, that'd be great. The one I saw sucked. An underhyped classic that you think should be recommended to everyone. This is the last question. And I would say Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens. Most people know Charles Dickens. They know Great Expectations, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, A Christmas Carol. They know, like, you know, the typical six or seven that people talk about. But not a lot of people talk about Little Dorrit. 
And honestly, this is the first one that I read, the first Dickens that I read, and I loved it. It has such a special place in my heart. It's such a good book. It's so well developed and well thought out and well written and so interesting and I love the characters and it's just one of those books that everyone should read and I know that it's not his most popular book but it's so good and I would recommend it to everyone. I think everyone would enjoy this. I missed a question so I'm gonna go back now. Number nine was favorite editions you like to collect? I do like the Penguin Cloth Bound editions but those ones are a little harder to read and I'm a little scared to touch them. Um, I also really love the classic lines editions which are you know like the the edition of Jane of Pride and Prejudice that I showed you. I like the Penguin Deluxe classics that's like the edition of Emma and Little Women and Le Miserable that I showed you and I do also really like the English Penguin Library edition classics which are like the one I showed you of Little Dorrit or if you can see this one better. Um, I do really love those those are really great so I kind of just collect all over the board. I pick which edition I think is the best or the prettiest and I get that one. So those were all the questions in the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun doing it and now it's time for my random fact. My random fact today is that I've considered considered stopping the random facts because I feel like recently especially I have run out of ones that I can think of off, off the top of my head and I did have some questions on a previous video and I used them all up so I don't know I mean unless you guys are really into them and you really like them I have considered taking them out because they end the video and they might like waste time. I know that I took them out once and a lot of people wanted them back so if you really like them then if you could help me out and give me some more ideas but if y'all are okay with me taking them out I think I might do that as well so let me know what you think down below. Make sure to check out all my social media like my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, all that fun stuff and I will see you in my next video. Bye!